Hey everyone, V the Amazing Greek here. We finally got the head off of the Dodge Neon. Um, I'm getting ready to clean up the bottom of the head where it attaches to the block. And here's what, uh, here's what my cylinders look like. A lot of crud in here. I'm going to have to clean this up. Uh, in one second. And I'll return. All right, sorry about that. That was my brother-in-law, the mechanic, who was just over here. I was asking him questions about cleaning this stuff up. So you can see where I'm getting a lot of... I'm going to clean all this junk up. I don't know if that's where the coolant has been leaking. This side over here is where I suspect um, the leakage I was getting. This is the worst looking one. Plus, on the base of the head, the evidence uh, looks like I had something seeping right here. Look, you can see down in these. So, so we're going to clean all that junk up. Let me show you the head. We've got it over here. So that's what we're looking at. These are very crusty. This is the one that corresponds to the cylinder I said I think was leaking. I think we had some seepage here. Uh, so I called Vonderkoff or Phil, my brother-in-law, and I asked him, you know, uh, about cleaning the piston heads. I didn't want to scrape them up. He said those are a little tougher. This I'm going to use a uh, wire bristle brush of brass or copper, you know, like this. Not the steel because I don't want to put markings on the face. Going to clean all this off and uh, going to start to check for warpage. Uh, check it this way check it across here across all these here and then he was saying I need to check crossways for any warpage I'll check the book and um, see there's probably a layout of how you check that and then I'll write all that down and see if it's worth putting the head back on if it's warped uh, that I'm not gonna be able to fix anything just by putting a new gasket so uh, that's the point I'm at right now. I'm getting ready to clean it, and once I clean it off, um, also the valves here, the outtake and the intake, or the intake and the output valves, uh, have to turn this. This is attached to the camshafts, pushes them out. Uh, I don't have the ability right now to re clean all these super, super good, so I'm just going to use bristle brushes and clean the best I can and try to knock some of the crud off I don't uh, if the guy was gonna do a valve job for me on this he said it would be a, almost a week till I got it back and um, I, I don't have the time or the the ability to build the lower part of the block to match the upper so we're gonna check for warpage and uh, see where we stand alright I was trying to use this brass wire brush but with the drill, I'm trying to come from the side. I can't do anything like that. Excuse me. So I went to get the wire brush spins this way, but not steel. I don't want to damage anything. They didn't have brass, but they got this new thing I saw. Nylox. It's impregnated nylon bristles that uh, it lasts longer than the metal. It's safer to use. And they come in different grits. This blue one is a 240 grit. And I got an orange one that's 120 grit. So uh, can knock it off. Try these out. I won't be throwing sparks everywhere or anything, which it's aluminum. It wouldn't spark anyway, but if you're using it on something else, then I can get in there and do like I'm supposed to. So that's where we're headed. All right, I've cleaned the head up. Uh, these work okay, these nylock things, they work on the sides and stuff like that. Grease and junk, they don't do so great in. So I flipped it over, used the wire brush. What I did was I checked for warpage. I used a straight edge. I did like this. I wrote all my measurements down. I made me a chart so I can keep track of what I've checked and uh, what my rate readings are. I checked it across the face of each side of the uh, valve openings here and then I went crisscross across each one. The largest difference I have is point zero zero two five and that's just along this wall here 
Uh, I think I'm well within tolerances. I, I don't. If I think uh, what I heard or what I've read, we're trying to figure out maybe a point zero zero four difference. And once you do that, you need to get the head kind of straightened out. We look good, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue to clean this, the intake manifold, the exhaust manifold area, and I'm going to clean up these wells right here where the valve seat they need some work so I'm gonna clean those up and uh, keep on going so I can assemble all this alright this is the only evidence I'm seeing of a leak the gasket I didn't see a problem but I can see where beyond the seal ring we have intrusion of something here and is as bad as the stuff is on here you know I, I don't know that's the one where my uh, valves looked the worst they had the most uh, build up of the white crystalline stuff um, the spark plug was the one that showed signs of burning coolant it looks like that was the one it's just that the uh, head gasket doesn't show a very clear sign of failure but uh, I'm seeing it here, the spark plug. So uh, I'm hoping this is it and I don't have the uh, valve and spring problems. Uh, but I'm going to clean this up next. As I'm scraping this stuff off, brush, I'm going to have a vacuum cleaner so I can get it. I don't want to drop stuff down in these coolant ports because there's, there's coolant down in there. Um, so I'm going to be careful about that. I gotta vacuum all this junk out of here. That's not good, you know. Looks like somebody dumped an ashtray down in the engine. All right, here's the head. This is the valves and stuff. We got all the valve gasket material off of there. Uh, just with a real fine grit sandpaper. No pressure. Just using my finger to keep the sandpaper in place and do like that. And I uh, wire brushed all this here. See, it's almost reflective finish looks good same back here nice and clean now and uh, everything down here looks pretty decent now best I could get it a lot better than it was it had tons of garbage I still need to work on the exhaust ones a little bit more I'll work on those some more after uh, I clean the the block 